We have only a decade to avoid the direst of consequences of the climate crisis. The 2014 General Assembly heard this call and overwhelmingly passed a business resolution on fossil fuel divestment. My intention was to help you use live into their values, but it was really Bill McKibben's do the math tour in 2012 after the election that prompted our actions. The resolution called on the UUA to reduce its fossil fuel holdings and, for those few retained, to use its shareholder rights to pressure companies to take action on climate change. Climate change really uh, percolated up to the top of the issues that we were working on. When I became UUA president, I was astounded at the work that we were doing through the Common Endowment Fund and the impact that we were having when it came to advocating for greater responsibility from petroleum companies in diminishing emissions and in working for climate justice. Climate justice is a movement responding to the urgency of the climate crisis in a way that actually builds equity and justice in our society. Our shareholder influence is enhanced by working with other investors through the Interfaith Center on Corporate Responsibility, or ICCR. ICCR started in the early 1970s and from there pioneered the strategy of shareholder investor engagement on environmental and social issues. And the UUA was there almost from the beginning in the 1970s. Over three decades, the faith community has catalyzed powerful investor coalitions acting on climate change. We are shareholders and being long-term shareholders means something. And now we belong to a group of people like Climate Action 100 Plus, which is $33 trillion of invested capital, one third of the invested capital in the world. And when we walk in and say something to somebody, they listen these, these days. And so by working together, they have a common set of concerns they put before 160 plus companies globally, and they engage them, they talk to them, they, they meet with them, they have, uh, I share research with each other. Since GA 2014, the UUA has filed or co-filed 32 climate-related resolutions. As an example, at Exxon, um, when we demanded a scenario plan for how Exxon was going to make a transition, a couple years ago, we managed to get a 62% vote on that resolution, and that was just unheard of. It was really the first time and a real turning point where the largest institutional investors in the world, the Black Rocks, the Vanguards, the Fidelities, it was your mainstream investors who said, this is really important and this company needs to produce this report. At BP and Shell and Glencore, all, th all three of those are good examples of really seeing um, targets for how they're going to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and plans that are much more assertive in terms of moving faster, deeper, um, really dramatically changing the businesses. Two years ago, the UUA joined Westpath in filing a shareholder resolution at Occidental Petroleum that got 67% of the vote. It was the first time an environmentally focused shareholder resolution had ever passed at a U.S. oil and gas company. Since then, the company has gone on and is now thinking about ways to become carbon neutral. Boston Common is the co-author of a report called Disclosing the Facts, and last year the focus was on methane. And what we found is that a company that UUA engaged with, Range Resources, has significantly moved in terms of, it, of its performance around methane. So where it used to be a laggard, it's actually improved its practices and its disclosure. Trump administration is basically overturning rules on methane emissions, rules designed to reduce those emissions. After a conversation with Exxon, they came out with a very public statement saying that they opposed that um, and they stood, they encouraged the administration to leave the rules in place. I think we're at a tipping point now. Major companies globally understand the issue of climate change and the threat it is to their business. We are more powerful because we unite our assets in the UU Common Endowment Fund, and we're more effective because we work in partnership with other faith and values-based investors. The more that Unitarian Universalist congregations are invested in the Common Endowment, the more power that we have to advocate as a whole faith on behalf of our values. So I invite congregations to consider seriously the UU Common Endowment Fund as a place to hold their endowment resources and advocate on our values together.